All right, guys, so we're going to take uh, Moonloaf from Sugarloaf to Moonridge. I'm interested to see how it's actually looking right now. It's probably not going to be the smartest thing to do because that road always gets really torn up by this time of the season. But we shall see. We're getting some pretty decent snow falling up here. It's kind of a snowy sleet mix still. can't wait till 8 o'clock. I think that's when I close my doors tonight. And then I'm going to go get a sandwich from my friends. My friend who's a manager at, at, at Jersey Mike's. I think I get a, a birthday discount or something. I don't know. But whatever it is, I'm excited. So we're in Sugarloaf, guys. We're on Barton Lane. And you just want to take Barton until it dead ends. And then make a left and you'll start entering Moon Loaf. So interestingly, the south part of this town has more snow right now from, from this, this recent system. Um, that's not really saying much, but as I said, it's the wraparound moisture from this storm. That, that could be the significant the snow bashing for us. So um, yeah. I'm excited about it. All right, so we're about to enter Moon Loaf right here. Look at how beautiful that looks. Look at that view. Wow. All right, we're going into Moonloaf. Woo! Don't go too fast, though. So it's 30 degrees, 5.13 p.m. Or actually, no, I'm sorry. I think it's, unless the time in my car changed by itself. No, it didn't. So it's 6.13 thir p.m. Uh, let me see. Uh, we'll, just make it, we'll make it say 6.15. There it is. Okay. Wow, it does look pretty tattered up here. Great. That's right. We'll make it work. We, oh my gosh, it really is bad over here. Holy moly. Woo, look at how deep it is right here on the left. We're actually going to go close to the cliff right here. Okay, this is not good right here. Just take it easy, Nick. Take it easy. It's your birthday. You don't want to screw up your car too bad on your birthday. <laughs> A few dents ain't going to kill anybody, but we don't want to really wreck it. Uh, we're almost going to bottom out, almost. I would have been so bummed if my train horn was installed right now, because we would have totally bottomed it out right here. And uh, he had a problem installing it because he didn't want to do do a certain thing because it's a lease but I told him go ahead so tomorrow he's gonna finish it up for me guys look at this this is so neat look at this and then from that huge storm look at this damn tree fell wow guys this is amazing And thank you for all the birthday wishes, guys. I appreciate it. it means a lot to me. <laughs> you guys are the biggest sweethearts ever. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, we are way up on two wheels here. Whoa, look at this. I don't, you guys can't tell, but we were, oh my gosh, we're almost in bottom out territory here. What it feels like is, you know the car ride at Disneyland or the one that they used to have years ago where like 
that piece of concrete is in, in between the wheels so you can't really steer out of the way out of the uh, lane well that's how it kind of feels like right here because it's so deep in, in the middle right here that your wheels hit on the insides and it keeps you kind of staying staying here on the lane it's pretty funny oh a car hit right there and broke the fence and they probably just kept on driving Well, wow, guys, so we're almost made it to the end of Moonloaf without any other cars, which is good. So this area could get, I'd say, a foot and a half of snow by the end of this. Up here, I'm thinking a foot and a half. All right, Moonloaf is adjourned. Now we're in Moonridge, folks. And we're going to go the way I know. Ah, ah, ah. I really do love this street. They really do have such beautiful homes. Just gorgeous homes on both sides of the street. They're just magnificent. Man, I wish I had one of these homes. Someday, someday. And most of these are, are people's vacation homes. That's, that's the cool thing about it, is these people work so damn hard to not only have a, a really nice house for, for themselves and their family, but of, of a vacation place so their families can have good lives because they work their freaking asses off. I, I love that. I love it. I love it. Look at that house. That's just fantastic. Wow. Wow. So anyway, guys, yeah, it's such a beautiful area. Such a beautiful area. So now we follow the emergency evacuation route out of here. So we should be coming up here to a pretty nice sunset. I think we probably are about to, about to get to it. Oh, shiza. Oh, look at the lake. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's just beautiful. Wow. Straight ahead. Gosh, there's hardly any snow up here in Upper Moon Ridge either, guys. But the lake has a lot of water, guys. We are very, very, very excited about that aspect. This part of Bear Mountain. <clears throat> so th these videos were, in essence, going to give you guys um, kind of an, an eye for what it's like right now, and then what this, what it's going to be like a, a little bit later. You guys are going to see significant difference in snow. So we're doing the, the kind of pre-snow tour. Because, yeah, this snow that's falling right now is from this next storm. But it's just not uh, the, 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 like the brunt of it yet. It's probably going to stop it for the next few hours and then continue. So this is an area that I like to take you guys to go sledding and and, and whatnot because in this gully 
when we get decent snow, it's pretty nice because you'll, well, look, there's a lot more snow over here, guys. Look at this. Holy crap. Wow. This is a very shade ridden area though. But what I was saying is over here, there's this gully and the whole way through this whole, whole, whole neighborhood, it's a nice gully. And when there's a lot of snow on both sides of it, it's, it's just completely packed. And so your kids can sled down one side and not have to worry about sledding into the street or anything like that. So it's very nice. It's safe. Um, right now there's not enough snow, but I hope you guys get what I'm saying. Do you see that gully in between the neighborhood right in the middle? It's that wash. It's a wash, but it, it works perfectly because both sides go up. So you don't have to worry about, as I said, your kids flying into the street or anything like that. <clears throat> so yeah, this is so cool. And this road is Sand Canyon. Oh, look at how cool that house is. Wow, that is a cool looking house, man. Man, I wish I had one of these bigger houses. I'm tired of living in a, a little freaking matchbox. Nine degrees, 6.24 p.m. I appreciate you guys cruising with me from uh, <clears throat> Sugarloaf to Moonridge. And we exited Moonridge in a way that we usually don't. I don't know how I got to this spot again, um, over by, the, uh, by that wash that I was showing you guys for the sledding. But I ended up there again. And that's very cool to know that there's a way that I can get into that neighborhood from Sugarloaf as well. Well, I, 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 you know, once you take Moonloaf, I just got to figure out which way I took. <laughs> and check this out. How cool does that look? We're getting a break in the clouds over here. At the very end, right above the tree line, if you can see that. Not back that way, but over there, yeah. Gosh, that looks so neat, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That's the end of the clouds for right now. We're still getting a little sleep. Holy sleep. Just so amazing, you guys. All right, everybody, take care. It's March 10th, 2019. Happy birthday to me. I'll talk to you later. Winter storm is on its way.